Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Artist Consulting YouTube channel. My name is Jared Farber. Today, I'm going to be walking you through a new preview feature in Power BI called Data Storytelling in PowerPoint. Now, a lot of times when business users really need to drive change and you know present some kind of piece of information to potentially senior leadership or you know anyone else, a lot of times they go to PowerPoint for their uh, for their presentation medium. Now, a lot of times that's you know, in the form of screenshots or uh, pictures or things like that that are not necessarily live and up to date, but they're really more static pictures. Uh, with this new data storytelling feature, the data in your slides will always be up to date and you can slice and dice it on the go. So you can, you know, respond to people's requests as, you know, as they come in during your presentations without actually leaving your presentation. So you're able to, you know, maintain the flow of your meetings and really uh, direct people's eyes to your information. So uh, I'll take you through a quick little demo of how this works. Um, a couple of ways we can pull this up. The first way is in Power BI Service. So you can see on your screen, I've got a Power BI report located in Power BI Service. Uh, first way I can get to this uh, new feature is by going up to the export button right here, clicking on PowerPoint and clicking on embed live data. So if I click on that, it's gonna say copy and uh, copy and report URL and paste it into your existing presentation. I'll get to that in just a second. The first way we can do this is just by clicking open in PowerPoint. So if I click on that, that is going to open a new PowerPoint slide for, uh, PowerPoint deck for me. Give this just a second. And there we go. So you can see my actual report page is located here in PowerPoint now. Now let me show you the second way we can pull this up. This is going to be straight from PowerPoint itself. So delete this. And let's insert a new blank, new blank slide. If we go to the Insert tab and up, to, up here on the top, you can see you've got Power BI as an option. Um, if you don't have the add-in, you have to install this from the Microsoft Store first. So if I click on Power BI, first thing that pops up is here that, that splash screen again. And it's asking me to paste a report URL from Power BI here. Uh, I still got, I've still got it in my clipboard from when I copied earlier, so maybe I don't. Let's just go back to the report page and grab that URL. Copy, paste that there, and then hit insert. Okay, now this is going to take us uh, straight back to that same report page. Um, so you know, a great new feature. Let's you know go into some of the uh, some of the details of what this looks like on the PowerPoint, PowerPoint page itself. So we'll start off here on the top right. Uh, if you click on it, there's a little show hide pane right here, that little arrow right there. If you click on that, a lot of different options in here. Uh, the main ones to point your attention to are the uh, delete, reload, and save as show as saved image options. If we hit delete, this is just gonna delete the entire thing from our slide. Z, go back. If we hit reload, that's going to reload our actual uh, report visuals, you know, if things have changed. Uh, and the big one to really show here is that show as saved image. If you click on that, that's going to essentially make your report itself a static image. So you don't have the ability to, you know, do any kind of dynamic filtering if you want to go down that route. It's always reversible. You click on it again and uncheck that. We go back to where we were at. Down here on the bottom left, we've got the name of the report itself, and then any kind of sensitivity labels that the report has would be located right there, along with when the data was last updated from the data source and Power BI service. Got a few more options here on the bottom. We've got uh, filter, so if you wanted to show or hide the filter pane right up here on the top right, or refresh, you know, get the latest uh, data from Power BI service itself. And then we've also got a couple of add-in options here on the bottom right. If you wanted to clear your data, you know, start start over from a fresh new report, or you know, if you wanted some tips and wanted some more information on how this actually works in Power BI Service, you can always click a Learn option there. So you can see, you know, as I'm making changes in the Power BI report page, it's you know updating as I'm making these changes. So if you're in a presentation, you know, a great way to respond to users requ user requests without having to potentially create something new or you know, uh, leaving your PowerPoint slide itself. Um, so a great new feature here in Power BI, uh, data storytelling using PowerPoints. 
Um, for related information, please refer back to our paginated report uh, video, uh, show some related information about how Power BI paginated reports work. Uh, thank you ever for listening.